Hi, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. I am a mommy of an eight month old baby boy. His name is Brooks and today I'm going to be filming his eight month update. So Brooks weighs 25 pounds and he is 30 inches long. He is quite big for his age. He's in like the 99 percentile and we are totally fine with that. We call him our little linebacker. As far as clothing sizes goes, he is typically sizes 18 months for his pants and 18 to 24 for his tops. He even has some 2T outfits that I just have to roll the sleeves and the pants on. So he is in size five diapers. We used to use size four, but we found that size five is just a little bit more comfortable and roomy. And he has less leaks. They are the Huggies Little Movers, and they are the purple package. They're really soft. They have the line so you can tell when he's used the bathroom. For overnight diapers, we do use the Honest Company um, size four. They run a little bit bigger. I find that the Huggies runs a little small. Brooks loves toys. He, he's gotten a playroom full of new toys that he loves. Some of his favorites, though, are the little toys like bath toys that he can get his hands around and he can chew on. These are any like kind of teether type of deal, anything that lights up. He is all about it. So this is Brooks. This is our big boy. This is our big boy. Oh, you're going to give Mama a hug. Oh, you're so sweet. He's very intrigued by this plant over here. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold him and keep talking. So this video isn't forever long. So don't mind him pulling on the plant. <laughs> this is just mom life. So a big milestone that we hit this month is Brooks got his first two teeth. Didn't you? So he got his bottom teeth in. Both of them came in the same day, so that was kind of rough. But he didn't have a diaper rash or a fever or anything like that, so we were very blessed not to have too hard of a time with his teeth. But he did pop both through the same day. And going through that, he had a hard time napping whenever they were right there. But you could tell he was really uncomfortable. His gums were swollen and you could see that he was about to pop them through. So what we did was we gave him these drops, these teething drops, right before he took a nap and that helped get some good solid rest. And they are called Bye Bye Teething Hello Sleep Drops. I'll link them down below if I can. They're from a local like mom and baby boutique that we have here in my area. Brooks doesn't talk yet, but he does make little sounds and let you know what he wants. He has different cues for different things, like when he's hungry, when he's tired, when he's ready to go home, just things like that. But one thing that he does do is growl. He will make this like grunt, growl noise, and it cracks us up, but we think he might have learned it from our dog, but I don't know, because he does that all the time, and he's watching them, and then he'll, he'll do it. They're best buds, but Brooks doesn't take a passy unless it is at night, or he is going down for a nap. Bath time is his favorite time of the day. <laughs> he loves playing with all of his toys. He loves smelling the warm water. He has always loved bath time, actually, ever since he was a, a newborn. Um, we recently moved him from the sink in our kitchen to give him a bath to the bathtub in his bathroom. I usually put bubble bath in the water and then I'll put him in, put his toys out. He loves it. I'll let him play. We'll wash him, get him out, and take him back to his room to change him. And that's worked out really well for us. Um, I need to get one of those like little holders that hold all of the toys because right now I have them like all lined up on the side of the bathtub. Brooks is um, about to curl. He is constantly pulling up on the couch or he has this little yellow Fisher Price chair that he loves to sit in and pull up on. Sit in, pull up on. So that's really helped him with his standing and getting his balance. He is grunting in the back so if you hear something that's him. <laughs> And that's helped. He stands up with his walker. So I feel like he could be a walker before he's a crawler. We'll see. Brooks is a people person. <laughs> he is always 
been that way. He loves people. He gets really excited when people talk to him or give him attention. He will wave. He started out waving like this, which is really funny. <laughs> like, Brooks, what are you doing? Now he'll wave like this. This morning we were at the gym and he was waving as the older men in the front. It was really cute. We still give Brooks formula. He gets about five, six ounce bottles a day, so about 30 ounces. And he uses the Infamil Gentle Ease formula. It's a purple tin. And we get it at Sam's. It seems to be a lot cheaper there. We are transitioning to sippy cups. He does eat solid foods now. We'll just put them up, cut them up in little pieces and he'll just kind of gnaw on them. Certain things that Brooks likes to eat are pickles. He loves puffs. He likes stuffing. We found that out at Christmas. He loves mashed potatoes, pretty much anything. He'll eat like lunch meat, cheese, like he loves stuff like that. So, and he does drink juice, um, not every day, but occasionally. I'll give him a little bit of like apple prune juice if he's a little bit constipated. So I'll either throw it in his bottle with his formula or I'll just dilute it with water and give it to him through a sippy cup. And the sippy cup that we've been using is the man sippy cup. And it's worked pretty well. It's doesn't have a straw. It's kind of like a similar to a bottle and that's really worked for us. It has handles so he can like pull it up on himself. And he's also been holding his bottle by himself. So that's been new this month. It's really cute. He's getting so independent. Some things that Brooks is into and that he absolutely loves is Mickey Mouse. He loves Mickey Mouse anything. He loves watching Mickey. He loves Mickey toys. He has a little Mickey stuffed animal. He loves it all. He gets so excited. For Christmas, he got a couple of like little Mickey outfits and a little Mickey robe. And we, he got an iPad that we have Mickey episodes on. We do limit his screen time, but we will let him watch it in the car. Or if we're out and about, I can't really get him calmed down. We'll throw Mickey on. And what I do with that, because if you have it in his lap, we put on the guided access. I'm pretty sure any Apple product comes with this. So if you don't know what that is, check it out. It will allow the screen to lock so your baby can touch it and it won't change the screen. He does have a lot of hair. He's always had a lot of hair. He came out with a lot of hair and he has continued to keep it. It did at one point, like when he was about two months old, it kind of fell out and then just came in thicker and darker. So it is slowly lightening to more so like my husband's color but he does have more of my complexion and he has my blue eyes essentially he does look just like his daddy he looks just like taylor my husband and i say we joke around because we say that he's got taylor's looks and my personality and he's just the best mixture of both of us Overall, he is a really happy little boy, and we are so blessed to have him in our lives. This is the first week of the new year, and I can't believe that he's going to be turning a year old in just a couple of months. I don't even know what to think about that. <laughs> but we are loving seeing all of his milestones and his growing. I think it's really neat to see the different milestones that they go through. And that way you can have these videos, too, to look back on and you know see kind of what they are and what they're like so if you guys like these kind of videos please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you hit the bell notification you'll actually get notified anytime i post a new video stay tuned for the next video thanks guys bye oh we got a sock say bye guys bye